All right, folks, I'm Tom Downey. Alongside me is Mitchell Renz. As you see at the bottom of, this, of your screen there, use, has, use hashtag NFL to have your questions featured live on the show. We'll do some live Q&A now. So first up from Inspiring Munoz, what are the odds the Giants trade up into the top three? Historically speaking, quarterbacks go early and a team trades up for them. And if you're the Giants and you love a quarterback, you should make sure you get him at number three or number two or whatever. Here's the issue. There's been one. reports that they're going to stick with Eli, which I also could I could really see them maybe going up and get a Haskins or going up and get a Murray mm -hmm. and let Eli teach that young quarterback. Because if there is one quarterback who knows the New York Giants, it is Eli Manning. And yeah. I think Eli is 100% washed up. But, man... If they don't, if they stick with Eli again, I am going to get so frustrated because <laughs> that offense has so much talent, and Eli's noodle arm is just going to kill it. Yeah, I know. You don't like it. That's cool. The Falcons draft a running back. They took Ito Smith last year. I, d I would not be surprised round five, round six, round seven, that mid to late day three range. Yeah. They pull the trigger again. They've done it back-to-back -back years. Yeah, but reports are that they do really like Ito Smith, and he's going to get more work. Now, obvious, Tevin Coleman's going to leave, I think, going to test the free agency market. Mm -hmm. Go sign elsewhere, but again, it's still Devonta Freeman. And I will say, I think the Falcons, even though they had a bad year, can mm -hmm. go a bunch of different ways because that team is actually pretty well put together. It's just mm -hmm. injuries just kill them. Especially on the defensive side of the ball. The offense should be really good again next year. And again, that, with that defensive side of the ball, they do plan on tagging Grady Jarrett. That's going to cost a significant amount of their cap space, which in the end, ties it all back in. I don't think you're going to see Tevin Coleman back in Atlanta. Yeah, and uh, I don't blame him. I think Tevin Coleman is an every down running back. The question for you, Mitchell, uh -oh. in order with no trades, who do you think the Raiders will draft? So your top four big board. Oh, Tanner. Well, guess what, Tanner? How about this? <laughs> I'm actually going to be dropping a video tomorrow on the Raiders Report live about 10 players that the Raiders could draft in the first round. I was going to do it today, but some other breaking news happened. And also, I'm going to be drinking six beers in six minutes tomorrow, and Tom's coming on the Raiders Report to uh, help me get through it. Going to be great. Bachelor party live on the Raiders Report. Craig Elliott, do you think Montez Sweat has moved himself into contention for the Raiders' number four pick? I, I still am not Montez Sweat top four. In my mind, there's still a few other players that I would take. Like, I would rather have Devin White over Montez Sweat at number four. That's just me. But, I mean, Dev Montez Sweat has been a player that you and I have talked about for a while. I had Montez as one of the players that I loved two months ago. Mm -hmm. And you loved Montez Sweat too, but we never thought, I think, that he would be a top five. Potential. He, as we'll have a combine video here in a minute, uh, he was a top 20 guy for me pre-combine. I think he has absolutely moved himself into consideration for top 10, top five. So uh, if there are no quarterbacks before that. I will say the one thing that the will copy. help him is Mayock and Gruden have said multiple times that mm -hmm. they like taking players from the Senior Bowl, and he absolutely tore up the Senior Bowl. They saw him there. Yeah. I think it makes quite a bit of sense there. Christian Wilkins to the Colts. I think it makes sense. I don't know if he's going to be there. If he is on the board, I think he's a very good fit in the Colts defense. I think he is a type of player that NFL teams and coaches are going to absolutely love. Well, he's a great player on the field. He's a player that you want to build your locker room around. Yeah. And he's going to be unbelievably intelligent. Leader. He's, yeah. he's a big body. And that's something that the Colts need for and that he's a solid defense. athlete, too. I, I am a big fan of Christian Wilkins. I think he goes round one, helped his stock out. Indianapolis would be a fantastic landing spot for him in the end. Some more draft questions here from Ferocious Film. Who should the Texans draft at number 23 overall? It's simple. The best offensive lineman on the board. Doesn't matter which position, just take it. Yeah, it's probably a better answer. I was going to say, I mean... Uh, that's probably the no only Houston, thing that they need. A cornerback. <laughs> <laughs> that's what they'll do. Or safety if they let Matthew go. Nah, they drafted Justin Reed last year. So nah, that's true. No, that's but true. I think it absolutely has to be an I mean, you got to build around your most important yeah. player, which is Deshaun Watson. Yeah. Also, you need to figure out what you're going to do at running back. The, but the not, offensive not line enough. was not good last year. So mm -hmm. I don't care if it's a left tackle or a right tackle. I don't care if Jonah Williams somehow falls to you or if it's a guard like Chris Lynch or even a center like Garrett Bradbury or whatever tackles still on the board could just, I doubt, I doubt Jawan Taylor's there, Cody Ford, whatever, just take one and start him. And then build your offensive line afterwards. You're naming people, Tom. I know. Go follow him, draft stuff, walk going down. Eh? All right, from Christian Meza, who will take DK, the monster wide receiver? I think any number of teams could strongly consider DK. Hey, where do you Metcalf. think he's going to go? Like, I mean, 
I think he is a top 10 pick. Wow, I mean, you run, what, a 4-3 combine, 1.6% body fat. We'll get to DK more in depth with, I mean, with the agility drills and how it wasn't the best, but he's if he's there at 9 for Buffalo, do it. Oh. He is a great fit with Josh Allen. Oh. Just run deep. You run deep and fast, I'll throw it far and high. That offense works at that point. Oh, Josh Allen. T-O-I-9-I-D-E. Oh, boy, I can't read it. All right, Packers need to trade up to get an elite defensive player and help them out. And this is an idea that you actually suggested, Mitch. Yep. So here it is. Packers receive the number four overall pick, and the Raiders get number, tw number 12 and 30. It works out pretty well in terms of the trade value chart. Yeah. So now here's the you thing, right? The only I'll do this if Josh Allen, Quinn and Williams, Nick Bosa are off the board. If those three okay. players are off the board and the Packers come knocking on my door, then, yeah, I would probably do this. Then the Raiders have four picks. They need to rebuild that team. Mm -hmm. They have a lot of then. I mean, you're 4-12. You need as many picks and players as you possibly can get. Mm -hmm. However, Quinn and Williams, Allen, both are on the board. Then I don't do it. What teams do you think have a chance to trade up? He means earlier in the NFL draft. It's the teams that have a bunch of draft picks. The Patriots can be aggressive. Okay. The Texans should be aggressive, by the way. They're sitting right now at number 23 and they have number 54 and number 55. They can get into around the top 15. They should do it for an offensive lineman. Houston should be very aggressive. I mean, Oakland Also, aggressive. any team that needs a quarterback. Like, any team yeah. that needs a quarterback, the Redskins, the Bengals, the Dolphins, mm -hmm. uh, the Giants, the Broncos, like all these teams that have been rumored for a quarterback. The Jags, even. The Jags. Mm -hmm. Heck, the Jags could still take Haskins. They really could. I, it, wouldn't, it wouldn't totally surprise me. Maybe they want Haskins learn under Foles, but... I need to see the contract for Nick Foles. If it's like a Case Keenum type structured deal, then sure. Which I don't think it's going to be. I think it's going to be more expensive than that. <laughs> Nacho Cheese asking the Texans get Bell or Noah Fant. He means F-A-N-T. Um, maybe Bell. That's one we had discussed before. I don't think they need to be investing in a tight end right now. I like Noah Fant a lot. I think he could be there for them at 23. They got to get an offensive lineman. Tight end's a bit of a need there, but take someone around two or around three. Go so get I still think they have pretty skilled position players. They need a running back also. Offensive line is by mm -hmm. far their biggest need. Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> one last one from Tom Glass Penis. Who do you think will go number one? I think it'll be Nick Bosa or Quinn Williams if there's no trade. You can see right through this question. If there is a trade, we will get something else there, but I don't think you're going to see Kyler Murray go number one of the Cardinals. I will continue to say that. If I'm wrong, don't worry. I got some great jokes aimed at myself coming up there. It'll be hilarious. Oh, man. I yeah. sure hope so. Tom Glass being this greatest, greatest name out there. All right. Kobe dropped 81 LAL. Uh, Devin White to Denver, or do they go for a quarterback still, a.k.a. Drew Locke? I think Devin White's the better pick. I'm not really totally sold on Drew Locke. Mm -hmm. So uh, Devin White, although he's one of your players on your big board, top four actually on your big board, and we've liked Devin White for a while, but he had a great combine. These linebackers running, the times that they're running is absolutely insane. I was impressed. Yeah. It's uh, impressive to say the least, but again, I still think that they need a quarterback because I'm not a Joe Flacco believer. As for Devin White, I don't think he's going to be there for them. I think he's off the board before that. Okay. Do you think Ja'Kai Polite will fall out of the first round? We're going to have our Losers video coming out on Tuesday morning. Well, I've hinted at that. He's on there. That's, <laughs> that's a no-brainer right there. Look, nothing went right for Ja'Kai Polite at the NFL Combine. Bad 40-yard dash, blamed it on a hamstring injury, which I there are a lot of people that don't believe he was actually hurt, and then did not interview well, both with the media and with teams, because he vented that he didn't like how teams just criticized him the entire time and then said he doesn't watch film of, of himself. Which, that's not a good look. So I like Polite. Better. He's taking a big tumble here. I will not be surprised if he does not go in the first round because there were already concerns about some of his maturity and his coachability. That does not help. Sorry, Jakai. From Amir Barber, is it possible the Falcons still get Ed Oliver? I feel like Ed Oliver at 14. I don't think he's going to make it so, that far. Here's the comparison. He could be the player that slides. There's always one. That's what I mean. Jonathan Allen slid to right around that range. What, 17. Like, Ed Oliver is a freak. He didn't test, which I was so disappointed by because I just wanted to see him set the three-cone record for interior de defensive linemen. But if, the, if quarterbacks and offensive linemen go early and DK Metcalf goes early, that's going to pull down defensive linemen. And then True. I think that Miami, Atlanta, Cleveland range is his absolute floor. 
mean, he's an amazing player. He's, he's a what, top five guy for me. Top five on your big board. It's just, I think he's coming out of a small school. He's a little bit undersized. I don't want to compare him to Aaron O'Donnell because that's just not fair. It's not fair. But he Close is an absolute Atkins. freak athlete. Yep. RP Vlogs, do you think Noah Fant goes in the top 10? First of all, first of all, y'all got mad when I mocked Noah Fant or TJ Hawkins in the top 10 before because I told you they were freak athletes. Then they become freak athletes, and <laughs> now you're wondering again and not as mad. Uh, I actually don't think Fant goes top 10, though. Yeah, I, don't I think, think if does. somebody does, it's still Hawkins, and he's not the same unreal athlete, but he's still really good. Do both Iowa tight ends go in yes. the top 20? Ooh, top 20? I don't know. First round, yes. First round, yeah. Top 20, though. Several teams at the back of the first round need a tight end. Okay. So they both go first round, which has never happened before, that two tight ends from the same class in the same year go together. It'd be insane. I think you need a tight end. Okay. Hollywood Brown, how far do you think he'll drop? I don't think he's going to go round one. Not anymore. A, not, not with a list Frank and a wide receiver his A list Frank injury for a tiny receiver. That that's a that's a concerning one. I think he he still goes early, probably in the actual Deshaun Jackson range where he went because that's his player comp anyway. I don't know, I don't I still think he's going to end up going round one. YouTube.com slash chat sports TV. Tell your friends. Type the S below. Yeah. I see it, Caden. I see it, Johnny. Make sure you guys are subscribing. And again, folks, that's YouTube.com slash chat sports TV.